Yeah, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> hello, hello. 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 Hey, on, Peter. Man. How are you? Doing well, man. How about yourself? Good, thanks. Hold on one second. I'm going to put on, put on a T-shirt here. We, can't, <laughs> we don't got a video of you. You got to uh, hit the video. Yeah, button. hold on. Just put a T-shirt on, Rich. Put a T-shirt on, Rich. Oh no, the, the nudity, nudity is totally fine on this show. I mean, if it makes you, if it makes you feel any better, we could all stay with our shirts off. Hey, I, I, I could all listen to my wife. Wow, wow. <laughs> Ray knows all about that. I know all about that. Yeah, so we both. Happy wife, happy life. That's for sure. That's for sure. This is why I love being the single one of the group, boys. Time out. Will you right. the top of the, What do I do here? Can you see? You, not not yet. yet, man. Not yet. See your wife, though. Oof, she's a looker, huh? Yeah, that's not bad. Good for you, boy. Good for you. I do my wife or his. Yours, my friend. <laughs> hey, she's she's a hottie. You ain't kidding. Um. All right, so. Um. So hold on, Peter. You on your phone? Yeah. Yes. All right. There should be a little camera icon somewhere on there. I think you want to hit that. I do, I don't see one. Interesting. Don't see. Oh, hold on. There we go. Ah, uh, I I be caught. Oh, there. Hold on. I just saw there. Oh, that's the voice. I think. Can you? Not yet. Just keep hitting butts, buttons. We'll see you eventually. All right, at the bottom. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Hey, there it comes. hey, there he is. hey. What's going What's on, up, man? man? What's going on? Peter the Techno Dummy, big deal. Peter, don't don't kid yourself, man. I spent ten hours trying to get this fucking thing to work today. So <laughs> banging my head against the wall. Hey, let me get this. Let me get this started. We can start shooting this shit. So uh, this is Simple Mind Sports Show. We are joined by Hurricane Peter McNally. Peter McNeely, sorry. And uh, you know, we're happy to have you on. This is the 25th anniversary of the uh, Mike Tyson fight. So I'm sure you've been, you know, get, you know, getting uh, getting tinged here, here and there. So we're we're happy that you were able to make some time for us. Tonight is the 25th anniversary. Yep. Pretty wild, and, huh? And you know what? 25 years later, I, I felt like I was feeling a little fuzzy tonight in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so does it feel like 25 years? No, it does not. Not even like – it seems like it was like – Ten years ago, yeah, yeah. So why do you think why do you think that this fight in particular has um, maintained its popularity? You know, across the sports world, really. You know, well, your fight against Mike Tyson is still talked about twenty five years later. I know this, um, and I'm smart enough to know this. I was the co star. Everybody wanted to see Mike Tyson. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's comeback fight, and you know I uh, the the um the regular media like today it's social media, but you know in 1995, uh, there was no Facebook, there was no Instagram, um, there was no Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but that being said, you know, 
that on our street in Medfield, you know, it was a small town, 35 minutes southwest of Boston. Didn't ever saw anything like this, ever. Right. And yeah. As far as the you know the media crush, um, and and the the street was lined with vans and cars, you know, for like weeks. Yeah. Um. Well, we're we're all New England guys. Um, grew up, really? grew up yeah. uh, just over the border in New Hampshire. All together, we all went to high school and shit together. And uh, you know, so we know how seriously we we all take our sports. And, and you watching the Celtics right now? I can see you looking at the TV. You got the Celtics game on? I'm looking at my vape. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure there's enough to get through this fucking thing, right? <laughs> So, I have, then I have a, that was my new one. I have a couple of spares. But Pete, I gotta say, with that fight though, it, you know, obviously Tyson, yeah, sure, you know, that's the name recognition, and he's getting the big payday and everything else. But you brought your own flair there. I mean, you were the talk of the town between the pre-fight um, interview and you know, e- even right before you went in, you know, just, just you know that the YouTube clip has gone viral how many times and. uh you know, and then the fight itself, you're, you know, you're electric in the ring. I did want to ask you, did, was it your plan to take just as many hits from Tyson just to show how tough you were, or <laughs> what was the plan on that one? Hell no. <laughs> but, you know, I have a film. Now, people know, know my brother. My brother is my oldest brother, Tom McNeely III, is in sports media. Okay. He he was a um, he won an Emmy Award for his production of the NHL on ESPN. He was with ESPN. He was a head producer of ESPN for over twenty five years. Um, and now now coincidentally enough, he's doing PBC boxing. Yeah. Well, and but the the point the point I'm trying to make is that he got an uncut raw footage back then. It was a videotape. Yeah. <laughs> now I now I have it on DVD, but raw uncut footage of of you know the the fight from like. What in angles, five different angles. And and you would be amazed at how many bombs, <laughs> bombs I made Mike Tyson miss. Right. Yeah, those uppercuts I mean, that he was missing. Oh yeah, he got lucky yeah, missing. He got, yeah. Peter, I got a I got a two part question. Hooks, and- there were a couple left hooks that surely would have had my 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 head out on the strip. <laughs> in front of the MGM Grand. <laughs> All right, I got a two-part question, and I mean this with the utmost respect because you're 55 and could probably still kick my ass. Uh, but how whoa. dumb How dumb were you whoa, to talk whoa, trash whoa. to Tyson whoa. enter in the ring? Whoa, whoa. He's 51, though. Sorry, 51. 51. Sorry. Either way, you're older than me. It could still kick my ass. But how dumb were you to talk shit about Tyson? Did you really think you were going to put him in a cocoon? Come on, dude. That guy's a stone-cold killer, and you're sitting there talking shit to him? Come on, man. Well, hey, you know what? Um, he, I, and people forget this. I was his first fight in three and a half years. Yeah. Sure. After he, after he did, you know, time in prison, and and I mean, and even Joe Rogan said on oh, Joe Rogan show, he was prison jacked. I was just gonna ask that. Were yeah, you afraid you- of prison, Mike? Oh, we lost you there. there. He's a pioneer. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Yeah, we're good. good. He's a pioneer in the whole date rape thing. So you're saying guilty? No. (laughs) No. No. If a a woman woman goes up to your room, after the hotel room, after 7 o'clock at night, what are they looking for? 
days are not going to get laid or get paid, or in her case, both. Speaking That's about, about hold on. Speaking about uh, getting laid and getting paid, how much? How many hookers and uh, how much cocaine did you do after that fight with Tyson? Mm. Uh, a, lo- a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my awesome. man, my man. Not, not, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy today. Yeah. To see, I'm, I'm four years. No alcohol, no drugs. Good for you. Man. Congratulations, awesome. my friend. Congratulations, awesome. man. You know what? Like, like it's like I'm, you know, I'll be fifty-two, October sixth coming up, and you know, what? like been there, done that. You know that that that's for kids or young young men. You know what I mean? Enough. Or deplorable, deplorable men like myself. I get it, man. I get it. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Peter, Bill's only 35 like the rest of us, but he looks 65. So I look he, older than you, man. He's, a, he's on a downward trajectory <laughs> real fast. I think Ray had something for you. Yeah, I have a quick question for uh, the whole uh, negotiation process you went through with the Tyson fight. How was that leading up to the fight? And is Don King that much of a douche in real life? Love Don King. I love Don King. How much oh. money did he steal from you? <laughs> oh, no, no. Like, like, it wasn't going to benefit Don to, you know, do a bigger fish to fry for Don. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah Mike Tyson can attest to that. It wasn't, it wasn't going to benefit. I, I did not make enough money for Don. You know, listen, Don... Don, Don's worth double, you know, double or triple figure millions. He doesn't need my money, you know? Yeah. Well, well, Peter, wasn't it the case that I was reading up on it? You, you had a shot against, was it Oliver McCall? Is that correct? And he, what, uh, originally, he... originally in 94, yeah. we signed a car. We actually went to the Rainbow Room, uh, Rockefeller Plaza in New York City. Um, and you know, uh, McCall had just knocked out Lennox Lewis mm-hmm. in London, and they came back, and I was I was already under contract to DKP, Don King Productions, and and so you know, Don, it was fitting that Don, you know. Don keeps it in the house, meaning right. the guys that are with Don fight, you know, his champions or his contenders. Right, right. So, so that's how you were able to kind of move after what, that and get in to get the what, uh, Tyson what, fight. What, what? No, what ended up happening was uh, the the WBC stepped in after like days, uh, you know, and. and it, I mean, like when I got home from New York and I get to the house in Medfield, you know, there's there was trucks and vans and cars. It was it was crazy, you know. Hmm. But you know what? That was a good it was a good warm up. It was a good warm up for things yet to come. Right. Yeah, you were able to get the spotlight on you a little bit and then see. So, I mean, I was, I, I was on, I mean, kids today don't know what I'm talking about, but I was a Letterman, I was a Leto, and I was a Larry King line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, you said you didn't get a ton of money for that fight, 700K, right, um, roughly? For the money, see. No. How much did you blow out that first weekend in Vegas? <laughs> and, and and what did how much of it that went up your nose? Um, um, hey, lot. there's nothing wrong with my beak. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's got a worse one? Artie Lang. You see his fucked up nose? That shit collapsed uh, because of cocaine, what? man. Yours is looking <laughs> money. Can you see me now? Can you see my nose? <laughs> oh yeah. Look, oh yeah. Look. Between yeah. Between that and the punches, you're looking good. Yeah. Watch. Watch. I'm gonna show you something right now. 
Watch he hit my vape. Watch this. <laughs> I love this guy. Can, can you, I love you. You got to come on like once a week. I love Bill, this guy. I'm sure you got a vape there. You can hit it with him. Yeah. I do have a vape, but it's too oh, far shit. away. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, what? There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jesus. It's too bad you don't drink anymore, Peter. You'd be drinking for free at a bar all night with that trick. Oh, dude. You'd be drinking over for free at a bar with me all night, baby. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. He's got to get his back up. There we go. Ready. If it comes out of his ears, I'm going to shit. Oh, that's, oh, a, that's, good awesome. that's a good one. That's a good one. That's awesome. Buff no. the magic dragon. Come no. at you. No. no. What we call that? They love it. It's my local box, Jimmy. Peter, do it. Do it. <laughs> we call it the one eyed the one eyed dragon. <laughs> that's what Bill That's what I call my dick. dick. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Uh, Speaking of limelight, uh, Peter, I, I had this question. Um, when you when you did the Tyson fight promo and you did the cocoon, you know the famous cocoon. Did you did you try to memorize that, or were you just like fuck this? It's too important to nail this burn. I'm gonna read it right off the paper. <laughs> I'm Hurricane Peter McNeely from Bentonville, Mass. <laughs> On Saturday night, watch me kick Tyson's ass. If you haven't made your pay per view arrangements yet, then make them soon, cause you know what happens when I wrap you in my cocoon. I love it. Oh man, man, man. It. Absolutely throw the Hey, you still rocking a mullet face. over there or what? Is that no, is that a mullet? Oh, no. is that ever gonna come back? No. no. Oh, that's a shame. No. Actually, you never know. Hey, you never know. What I what I love to do, I love to shave it right off. You know, the good good old school whiff. Yeah, I just right. let mine just fall out. I don't even need to shave it. I just let it all fall out. <laughs> I love the good old school whiffle. As a matter of fact, right now, this I got a I got a whiffle back in uh, June, and uh, uh, McNeely's go gray. We don't go bald. There you go. <laughs> That's better. The, the women, great, well, yeah. the women, love the, the women salt love the salt and pepper. Trust me, I love the salt and pepper. <laughs> uh. Hey, so, quick question for you, Peter. Uh, being brought up, your dad was a boxer, correct? Yes. Was this always in the plans for you when you were a kid, like growing no, up, that you wanted no, to be a boxer? No. Hey, for Grandfather, me, too, I, right? I'm the third generation professional boxer. Third generation. But it ends with me. It ends. Ended. Ended. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I only have one child that I, that I know of. <laughs> That's what I say, too, but I say none that I know of. <laughs> I love this guy. This guy's good. I'm going to be this guy in 20 years. I love it. You don't have the pedigree <laughs> to be fucking. Except I'm not a boxer and fat as shit and lazy and, you know, I look way older already, so you never know. And I might I be a, dead. So. I have a daughter, but I don't. And she's young. My yep. daughter is going to be 13 shortly, but but um, the, hey, I pity the man or, or, or yeah. team that goes there. <laughs> but but you, <laughs> um, I don't believe in boxing for her. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to ask you, so, or a Bill had this question. How did you get the name Hurricane? Well, just, hold on, Ruben Carter, you stole it from the Hurricane. Admit it. Really was, I'm, no, admit no, it. No, no. What it really was was I turned pro um, August 23rd, 1991 at on Hurricane Bob? Uh, Nick Hurricane Nick Bob. You got, you got a hurricane? No fucking way. Get out of here. You know, hurricane you, Bob. That's so all right. Said, <laughs> oh, fuck, come on. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and, oh, and I, get, I get pissed still to this day. Hey, it's not Peter Hur Hurricane. It's you got to say it like the weatherman says, Hurricane Peter. 
Hurricane Peter. Hurricane Peter coming at you. I, I fucking love that. Hurricane Bob. That's for real. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, that yeah. was, that dude. I ne- I remember that. I remember. I remember. I dude. Oh, I remember where I lived when that hurricane hit, baby. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, my pretty view outdoor fights on the Seville, the BU. Um, it was always uh, outdoor, so it was almost uh, postponed by by Hurricane Bob. No. Patriots used to play on Nickerson Field. No, no, yes, yes, back then. Back then, my Uncle Brian played with them. And my father, my father, God rest, God rest my father's soul. But my father used to go, yeah, the old, he called it the old Braves Field. The Boston Braves. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that was a thing, yeah. yeah. I'm still a Braves fan to this yeah, day. Yeah, I was born in that time, too. So Peter, so speaking of that of that era when you were coming up, um, I read. I think I read that you got kicked out of Bridgewater State. No, and I was, no, no, no. That's no, good I, because I don't I, think I don't, anybody, I any graduated. nobody's been kicked out of Bridgewater State. It's, it's not the fucking poster child for academia. I would say. I get, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could sleep my way through a, a fucking Bridgewater no, State. I, I got kicked out of the other Bridgewater State. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So. The degree, the degree, and the other one hangs on your wall, and the other one is shall not be named. Hold on, I gotta, I, I gotta. Hold on, we got it right here. <laughs> Bridgewater State Diploma. That's like the yeah. University of Phoenix online. Am I right? It's just gonna be a piece of printer paper. <laughs> Bridgewater. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. No, no, I did it old school. When you lived in the dorms, and you get up and you go to classes, no online bullshit. Uh, that's right. Was it as crazy back then as it is now? Have you no, seen? No. No, I did not start boxing till I mean, where the hell was I gonna box in, in Medfield? Beat up all the rich kids. They're right. So I slapped a couple of rounds. Um, but, but, um, you know, where, where was it in a box? So, um, I, I started boxing between my freshman and sophomore year in Aiden and Framingham. And then when school started in the fall, it's dead. Now, now you got to remember, this is in 1987. The Hagrid Leonard super fight had just happened in late April. Mm. So the Petrol Jim and Brockton. Hagler should have won that fight. The, the, the gym was was jumping with vicious killers looking to ride Marvin's coattails to the top. And and, and nobody knew. You know, the barber was that the barber was gonna stop and he just he did he just took off. He yeah. didn't say a word to anybody. He just he just got a, wherever went wherever he went and didn't say a word, you know? Yeah, and, the circle is back to boxing real quick. I got a two parter. Uh so I, anyway, hold on, hold on, real quick. So so I started boxing. In, in, in September of '87, at the Penn Jelly Gym in Brockton, and, and you know, and it was a war. It was a war up there every night. All right, so back to your boxing career. One, how did that Butterbean fight come? And two, who hit harder, Mike Tyson or Butterbean? Are you? What are you smoking? <laughs> Legitimate question. Who hit harder? Butter bean, butter <laughs> it's a funny bean. question, but I, it, it's a trick question. Mike but, Tyson. Butterbean butter bean, butter bean could have bust the grape, never had me down. When the referee stopped, Shady Jade 80. Yeah, it was a quick stoppage, right? It was under oh, two minutes. It was God, under two I minutes. You were, I, did watch, I did watch that fight today, so I, I know this. So, I mean, yeah. Down. Never done. 
And Never Peter, the, the announcers were ripping you and Butterbean the whole time. It's like they were like, Butterbean's like 300 pounds. Like, shit on both of you for, for whatever at reason. That, at that time, Butterbean fought between 340 pounds and 360 pounds. For that fight, he weighed 311. Is that just a payday fight, or did you, like, legitimately want to fight him? Were you just looking for a payday real quick? No, no. It, you know, really, boxing never was uh, – my whole career was never about paydays. I, I just I, – I loved boxing. I wanted to be – I wanted to be a boxer like my father. That was all. There was no – like, I didn't give a – I did not give a fuck about money. So in that in that vein, Peter, to 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 kind of dive into your brain on the on the boxing side of it, do you have, let's call it a favorite punch to land or a least favorite punch to take? You know, my, is there anything that you just like avoiding, or when you when you nail it, you're like, fuck yeah, that that was the one. That's the one I was looking for. Like uh, now, this is you know, and it's I my. And I was only, I only had 21 amateur fights. That's it. That's like barely a blip on the radar. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, only, only 21 amateur fights. And, 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 um, and like my eighth amateur fight. Now I had been, I had been sparring with, Steve, Steve Collins, from Ireland. Steve Collins was training with us, you know, down at Petrelli's with, with us, with me, and and I sparred with him for like six weeks before before I knocked out the number one ranked amateur in the country, and he ended up making the same guy. Went to the finals of the Olympic trials. Yeah. I mean, just to, just, just to make it to the Olympic trials at all is like, you know, it's so difficult. Uh, but uh, this guy made it to the finals of the Olympic trials, and and I knocked him out. You know. You ever run like, into? You guys ever uh, trained with like Vinny Pazienza? Uh, no, he's Vinny, another kind of local guy, right? I mean, he's from Rhode Vinny Island, visited, close to us. Vinny, Vinny visited our gym uh, for sparring in like '93 or '94. Was that was that after he broke his neck? I don't remember the, the year he broke his neck, but right, it was actually uh, my. I believe it was my third pro fight it was in, in Fall River, and Vinny was there, and he was wearing the Erector set. <laughs> Did you watch this movie? Bleed for this. I really enjoy that movie a lot. Right, um, you know, he had the, the the you know the the cage where they actually drill right in his skull. skull. Yeah, it'd be a flood. No um, painkillers taking those out either. Too that, that motherfucker. Was... God bless. God bless. No, but that was ninety uh, one. I believe ninety one or ninety two when that happened. Hey, what what do you what do you think about Mike Tyson coming back this uh couple of months? Roy Jones. Well funny you just should ask because my I just got off the phone with my brother because And you're gonna was, fight Mike Tyson breaking news? Holy shit, Peter, no, that's amazing. Uh, Roy Jones is uh, rumored today is Roy Jones is backing out, so he might need another that's fight. That's why I called my brother. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the way the first fight <laughs> ended. Throw my name in. Get my name I in there. Uh, yeah, that so was my next it, question, Peter, you, dude. You've you got to do it, bub. You take the fight. Yeah, you got to take way, the fight. I go to a local box to, do, to you know, local to where I live, and uh, and, and I, for the first time in my life, it'll be three years ago. I'm coming up to be three years Halloween. I I do not live in Norfolk County any longer. I live now. I live up in Essex County, and I go to a boxing gym in Lawrence. And Ooh. Ooh. Love it, 
love this gym. Mm-hmm. They love Hurricane. You know? Yeah, but, yeah. Do you want to shout him out? What's the name? Shout him out. Shout him, him out. Give him a little promo. I, intends with a Z, not intense with an S. Intends Boxing Gym. Intense boxing gym, boxing gym in Lawrence, on Massachusetts. Holly, on Holly Street and Lawrence. Great boxing gym. So you, you said you'd, you'd fight Mike Tyson on short notice. Yeah. Do you think you'd get yeah. knocked out on the first punch or the second one? Oh, <laughs> come on, one? Bill. What is this one? Dude, I, 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 I don't mean this shit on you, but the only reason I asked because they just really – Tyson just released a five-punch combo today, and, oh, he's, a, he's scary. At 53, he's fucking scary. <laughs> I could do it. I could – I would, I would no shit my shit, pants. Bill. I would shit my <laughs> pants. I'd kick your ass. Let, let, let's just say – Let's just say I am. I am gonna. Let's just say that it happens that I do. I do have a rematch with him. I want to see it, and I mean this with all all respect. All respect. Well, I would do it just like I did before. Right, yeah, baby. (laughs) Right at. Right at. Again. Right at. Dude, I love. Did you like Hurricane? Was that was that something to get you? psyched up for the fight because you know that was you know one of your moves just as soon as the bell rang take it right to the middle take it right to him was that something for yourself just to get into it get rolling get the punches flowing or is that like an intimidation factor or what was the reason behind that funny funny you should ask because i did that in all almost, almost every one of my fights before tyson yeah, I heard them on the broadcast. They did mention on the broadcast you try to time the timekeeper, right? So you can just kind of take oh, off no, right before no. he was ready to slam, Giddy, slam the bell. Giddy up. Giddy up, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go, son bitch. Let's go. Speaking, of, speaking of, of the Tyson fight, Peter, we had this one for him to steal this from Bill. So uh, Tyson looks good, but do you think he could beat a black bear? Like if you had to fight a bear in a ring, do you think, who do you think comes out of that alive? The bear, the bear better have a, uh, you know, the, the claw, his claws tripped or <laughs> fucked or whatever. I could beat a black bear. Black bears are fucking pussies, okay? I'm hit, I'm, I'm black bears are someone. pussies. They eat berries. All day on the bear. No way. Black bears are pussies. I could beat a black bear. <laughs> I've had this debate with with these two motherfuckers on this podcast. I can be a black bear. They eat berries. They eat nuts. They don't eat meat. They're fucking pussies, and they're scared of, scared of humans. I could be a black bear. I'd like to see tune-ups for Tyson go, number one, Billy Graybeard, kill him. Number two, the black bear, take him out. And then three, take on the hurricane and the rematch everybody's looking to see. I think that's a, a really nice three-fight combo for Tyson in 2021. I think I'd rather hang out with the bear than, than fight him. <laughs> Most are of you us still fr- Most are you of still friends would. with Tyson though? Are you like you guys communicate or you have it was one of those things that just is over and done with? He came to Boston and um and you know, complete coincidental thing happened. Yeah, I think he was out for the UFC fight when it was what, with the McGregor fight a couple years back. No, 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 it was nineteen ninety seven and um, I, I, you know, friend of a friend took me to his hotel, just me and Mike in his hotel room, just the two of us, you know what? And then he got my phone number from somebody in, um, 07. And, and he called me and like, he left a voicemail. And you, uh, you can only imagine how many assholes they got calling me up, leaving messages, imitating Mike's voice. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, but that being said, I, I listened. I'm like, that's really him. I, I called him back. We ended up talking, you know, on and off over a three-month time, over a three-month period. And, and and every you know, see, my father fought Floyd Paris for the heavyweight championship world, and my father fought light heavyweight champion Jose Torres in a he was a light heavyweight champ, but they fought a heavyweight bout. 
so both 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 fighters were trained and managed by Costamato, mm-hmm. who was who was Tyson's first boxing teacher. Didn't so make- you know, it was like a it was like a you know boxing uh, you know, it was like a boxing uh, flashback. You know what I mean? Like Right. My, yeah, all, yeah, those, yeah. all those Customato guys though, did he did they all did he hypnotize them like he hypnotized Tyson before? Like all was it all those guys or is it just Tyson in particular because he was the best one and I'm still convinced my wife hypnotized me. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that man. Stone she Cold stole Fox. Stone Cold on the side, Fox. man. <laughs> hey, she, hey, she she didn't have to hypnotize, she just looked at me. <laughs> it was over. Hey, Peter, last last question before we let you go here. I, I wanted to get your opinion on just the shitty fucking world we're living in right now with the uh, COVID and everything. And, you know, the, we, we're, we're, we're big MMA guys and we're, we're paying attention to the UFC as well as boxing. As, but just the idea of walking into an empty arena or stadium or gym and having to, you know, fight for a title or, or, or even just a lower card, just go out there and give your best. How how would that affect you? Would you take on a different approach, or or how would you well, you know walk funny, in the room like that? What do you say? What do you ask? Because uh, intense boxing gym opened back up. I've been there a few times. I was there uh, Friday. And I was there this past Monday, and and uh, they've been having fights on ESPN. Their their audience lists, but they would have my on ESPN. Right. Um, yeah. No. Hey, it's a it's a strange new world we're living in. Yes, sir. It is. Ain't that the truth, man? Ain't that the truth? But well, listen. Know, hey. Hurricane, Hurricane Peter. Hurricane yes. Peter. Hurricane Peter. We we yes, really appreciate Peter. you. <laughs> we really appreciate you coming on and uh you know i guess i would say congrats on the 25th anniversary this thing's still newsworthy everyone's still talking about it you're still you're still top of the headlines and uh a massachusetts favorite until the day we all yeah, die. new england so, guy yeah uh, and i'd like yep congratulations four years sober and if we can get you back on again i'd love it this has been a fucking awesome time great it's been awesome man <laughs> thank you very much gentlemen and Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Thanks a lot, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Peter. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Sign it up, baby. Good night. Good night.